Hey everyone, G loves trains here. Now recently I've been thinking back to a vlog I made on a circular route connecting the Wigan with Carlisle and Leeds and it's really put me in the mood to do another circular route. The one I've come up with is going to see me starting here at the Wigan, going to Liverpool, to Chester and then hopefully at the end of the day ending up right back here in the Wigan. Reet, let's go to the train station. Just walking past where pretty much the whole of Wigan Town Centre is being demolished at the moment. These photos that are up, which is showing what the centre is going to look like, hopefully at some point in the future, they do actually remind me of Salford Quays. I'm here at the Wigan Wallgate now. It's not often I start my vlogs from the Wigan anymore. I am just waiting for the 0912 service to Kirkby. I'm on a loud 150, it's 150 138 and it is one of the ones with what I think are the nicer kind of seats so I am happy about it. With regards to the tickets I am travelling on the Wigan to Chester off Pete Day return. It does allow you to go via Liverpool to Chester or the usual way I travel to Chester via Warrington. I was on the lookout for the new Headbolt Lane station which is being built. It is very exciting that we're going to have a brand new station in the northwest. At Kirby now changing from the northern side onto the Mersey Rail side. And of course the 777s have now entered service and they are running down the Kirby line. But whether or not I'm going to actually get on one right now, it's complete hot luck. So I was planning on getting the 0958 service, but I've just seen that it's six coaches and the one after, which is at 10.13, is four coaches. So I've decided I am going to wait for that one. Well, I'm chuffed. I finally get to ride on a Buzzy B. It's 777018. I have been on stationary 777s before, but not yet a moving one. So I'm looking forward to riding this one in service. This service to so one thing I didn't get to hear the last time I was on these units was the announcements and it does sound like that is a totally different Mersey Rail voice. The screens above the windows that show like the CCTV and that aren't currently working but the Wi-Fi and the power outlets are. Ah we're in the scary Mersey Rail tunnel! Well, I really did enjoy that. I'm now at more fields where I'm going to change over from the Northern Line to the Whitwell Line. Just waiting for the 1041 service to pull in. I will be back on a lovely pet now. Just making our way through Liverpool on 507033 as we're heading down the Chester Line. Question is, is my seat squeaky? It is. I have gotten off the train at Port Sunlight because the first time I was here I had such a quick changeover. I had no time whatsoever to go out into the area and I have been to Merseyside a lot since and again have yet to come to Port Sunlight. So whilst I'm in Merseyside today I've made sure to give myself loads of time to spend at Port Sunlight. Blimey, it was worth just coming outside of the station to see the station front. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am off for a walk, I think it's about half an hour, to a park called River Park. My new friend. Hey look, it's half of me. I've reached the park. Well, I mean, I'm sort of just on this path that's walking. It feels like it's walking along the outside, but then that just looks like a load of trees. I am headed towards the River Mersey, and I think it is coming up because it's getting more and more windy. This is one of the oddest parks I've been to. It is basically just like a walking path. But um, in front of me, there's this statue, right? And genuinely, as I was walking down from over there, I thought it was a real person. But I am now overlooking some beautiful flowing water. Squish! 
Have a walk up to the summit here. Doesn't look too high. We'll see what the view's like from up here. I'm at the summit now, although again, it doesn't really feel like a summit, it just feels like a path high up. There is this information board here telling you all that you can see. You can see loads of Liverpool, and then over in the opposite direction, there's the Welsh Mountains. I'm getting on, it's actually the same train, 507 and I'm going to be riding this one all the way up to Chester. So on this 12.31 service, we did just pass by Bromborough Way. On the last train as well, we passed by Green Lane. I'm so used to the trains down here stopping at all the stops, but I think there was a timetable change where the Ellesmere Port trains call at those two stations, but the Chester trains no longer do. I've been to Chester Station quite a few times now, but I thought I'd take the opportunity today to actually go for a walk outside of the station. If there's flowing water, I will find it. I'm just having a walk along the Shropshire Union Canal. to Chester city walls and I think that this is the busiest canal I have ever been on well beyond that bridge I've just come through it was absolutely heaving with people Back in the station now, just waiting for the 1352 Transport for Wales service. I was hoping on this next ride to get one of the new Class 197s and admittedly I did have a look this morning and it is a Class 197 that's going to be taking me to Warrington. Calling at Colwyn Bay. We have departed Chester 15 minutes late and I have to say that the announcements are very long and they're also completely out of sync at the moment with where we are. But like with the 777s, I have been on a stationary 197 but I've not been on a moving one so this is the first one in service that I've ridden. It is 197012. Do you know what? I'm actually really enjoying playing with the extension on the table trays. It's like one of them you get on a rowing machine. I was getting a lovely bum massage off that 197 then. I'm now just changing over at Colwyn Bay. Sorry, it was a wanky. Um, because of the delay on that train, I have missed the connection I was initially planning to get, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just wait a little longer for the next train to take me back to the Wigan. I'm on the 1515 service, departing was uh, two minutes late. The train is 39136, it is an all refurbished Pendolino. I'm on here for about 10 minutes. And in what feels like no time at all, I'm back in the Wigan. I'm at the Wigan Northwestern this time. Yeah, it's a building site around here at the minute. The whole of the Wigan Town Centre has just been demolished. Oh wait, I said this before. And I've come full circle. I have loved every minute of today, especially riding on the new trains. And I do really enjoy doing these circular vlogs. So I may potentially try to look into coming up with some more of them. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bye!